Hey, I'm Jeremy Wilson with Crop IMS. I'm the technology specialist. Uh, I'm based out of Effingham, Illinois, uh, which is southern Illinois. I've been working in the precision ag industry since about 95. Um, grew up on a family farm, um, around 12, 1300 acres, 100% uh, no-till farm, and um, incorporated precision ag technology very early, which moved me into the role that I'm in today with Crop IMS, where I'm working to help integrate technology um, into growers' operations and more importantly then helping to collect that information and data that comes off these field computers and use it in the decision-making process to make more, uh, more effective agronomic recommendations, whether it be for seed, fertilizer, uh, chemicals, whatever the case may be. We're, we're seeing a real demand and, and been doing a lot more work now of figuring out how to integrate more information into that agronomy process and recommendation process and we're dealing with a real challenge now of, of we have mixed fleets and, and lack of compatibility across multiple uh, companies' hardwares and, and then that, that software and we build a whole business around working with dealers and, and even customers in some case of taking that precision ag data they've got bring it all into one place and making solid agronomic decisions from it. Our customers today are, are demanding more and more knowledge from their information. You know, being in this industry as long as I have, I can remember the first precision ag data files were nothing more than a, you know, a pretty picture. And now we're being forced to, to take those pretty pictures and identify what we did right on that operation, what we did wrong, and more importantly, how can we move the things we did right across more of the operation. Maybe it's from identifying you know, soil types or, or fertility levels, or maybe it's something simple as you know hybrid and variety placement to provide better overall yield to a farm by identifying smaller segments in the entire farm to help make better decisions for the following year. Coming from the implement side, um, one thing that you're going to have to learn how to deal with more than you have probably in the past is is not only the agronomy side but the inner workings of, of conceivably multiple brands. I mean as I travel across production agriculture in North America, you know, the mixed fleets are, are more common than what they they have been in the past and, and that poses a real challenge because you know I don't care what brand of dealer you are today, you know, the brand that you sell and that you market the most, you understand that technology, you probably understand their data management tools that they have very, very well. But it's very conceivable that maybe this prospect that, that you're looking at and maybe they've been one particular brand or they've been a mixed fleet but you're trying to get in there, your dealership now is going to have to be able to use all that different precision ag data that might be collected out there in the field and bring it in to make one solid recommendation. So it moves from, you, you almost have to be an expert on several brands, it still doesn't hurt to be the expert on your brand. You need to be that, but you have to have a comfort level, a knowledge level to incorporate at a minimum the data from these other de devices into an overall data management package. It's really interesting as I travel, you know, it, it, we've got a lot of different marketplaces that, that have a lot of different levels of expertise in that marketplace and and when you get in areas that that you're in the absence of, of agronomy specialists that maybe reside in a, in a consulting firm or maybe reside in input crop supply you know these customers are coming to the dealers now and and they're demanding more information because that's just not there you know some of the precision ag dealers in that space are picking it up some of the implement dealers are picking all that up and we just all have to be aware of the demands of our all of our ultimate customer you know irregardless of, of your brand or what you market you know I'm an independent precision ag dealer I have to be aware of that as well that my customers demanding more information for me and and maybe answers to questions that I haven't answered in the pact and it's just going to really be a, a point of of understanding your marketplace, understanding who's out there, and in the absence of that, you may have to bring it in. And you want a lot of examples in places we go that may be forming a partnership with an organization that, that has that expertise, that you go with this as a team. And, and let them be good at what they're good at and you be good at what you're at. And then you've got other segments that that, that expertise is just not there. And in that case, you know, a lot of times that's going to mean 
bringing that up yourself and, and maybe bringing someone in from the outside or, or moving someone from within that has knowledge of that or has desire to get that knowledge to growing them up from internal you know it's gonna you just really need to evaluate your market space and and see what's available out there uh, I know as crop IMS we've done a lot of work uh, with some implement dealers to be that expert for them you know we we stand alongside them and and we understand the technology and the data side of that business and and, and they sell the iron and, and we bring the agronomy and the data side of the business and you know there's a lot of options out there to explore in doing that same type of thing.